Alrighty, so in this next video, we are gonna go to uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame, get that first bonfire, and then also uh, get up to the beginning of the Dragon Rider boss fight. And then in the next video, I will give you uh, a lot of details on how to kill a very easy boss. Anyway, so at the end of the last video, I was talking about uh, how I'm not impressed by birthdays, and I think it's kind of dumb to celebrate birthdays because there's so many other things worth celebrating that we do every day, whether it's you know, the end of the semester and you get straight A's or uh, completing a physical achievement or, you know, something, something that you worked at. And I think far, like not nearly enough people celebrate things like that. And I, I don't mean just graduating high school, but, or college or something like that, but like, uh, personal accomplishments. People don't do the, like, Unless you're a professional athlete, people probably aren't celebrating your physical accomplishments or uh, literary accomplishments or something like, or you know, hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube or something like that. Uh, those, those to me are so much more fun to celebrate than what everybody can do, which is not die for a year. <laughs> that sounds real shitty. I'm just not interested in celebrating that personally or for other people. And I know some people just like to just have a day that's all about them, that they get to choose what to do. And, you know, they they choose the bars or they choose the, the activity or whatever it is. And I, I don't know, that, that doesn't sell me. That doesn't change my mind at all. Um, but yeah, this last year has been pretty incredible. I lived, I, I did the marathon. I lived in Brooklyn for a month. I did a three-week road trip up California, living out of my car, uh, driving along to PCH and just camping every night and... God, I'm like a million other trips and I got flown out to oh actually that was while I was 27 hmm. I was about to say that I got flown out to uh, Toronto by Ubisoft to play Splinter Cell but that was before I turned 28 anyway um, and I bought wiki game guides for myself that's a pretty big accomplishment um, but I wanted to talk about like even though I'm not a big fan of birthdays I do appreciate a good gift and but what by that I mean like a good personal gift like some people are very good at giving personalized gifts not just gift cards and bullshit like that but actual good thoughtful gifts and I think the key to that is just thinking of it far enough ahead of time which doesn't take really a lot of extra thought okay don't pull that that switch it, that's gonna raise a, a platform in the next boss fight that's gonna theoretically make it easier, but in actuality make it harder. And you can also shoot the Dragon Rider from out here and do damage to him uh, before you even get into the boss fight. You can kill him without even getting into the arena to fight him, but I'm just kind of demonstrating that now. I'm not gonna actually do it. Uh, so a good friend of mine uh, named Jesse, he's an excellent gift giver. He always gives like very thoughtful, like articles of clothing or motivational books that he thinks would be helpful or uh, I'm trying to remember what else or like photographs like uh, he he's a really good photographer and he took a bunch of photos like you know during different trips we went on and then you know got some of them printed out um, and I'm trying to be a better gift giver what I've what I found is that just what I do is I just have a note file on my phone or if I have an idea like if I'm having a conversation with a family member and they just kind of mention offhand like, oh, I would really like this, but it's six months till their birthday. Just write it down on your phone. And then, you, then you'll have an idea when it gets closer to the appropriate time to actually give them a gift. Like uh, my mom, my mom had mentioned that she wanted a dash mount for her car or no, that, that she said she liked the dash mount that I bought for my car for my cell phone. It's a $15 Belkin, uh, thing it just kind of it's got like a suction cup on the bottom of it and you just stick it to the dash it hasn't moved and it's a great way like if you use your phone uh, as a GPS while you're driving like you don't have a built-in uh, GPS system or screen or something like that it's it's amazing I absolutely love it um, my sister mentioned a couple months ago that there's a comic book that she was interested in checking out called I think it was the Sandman that I'd never heard of and I would have forgotten it in a heartbeat if I had written it down and I know in six months when uh, her birthday comes back up that uh, that's exactly what I'm going to get her. She may have forgotten about it at that point. When At that point, that would suck because it would be a really bad gift. So maybe I need to think this through a little bit more. Um, and then uh, one of my favorite gifts I've ever given was my friend who I stayed with out in Brooklyn, uh, Jesse. He 
<laughs> he's a vegan and he eats all the time. And like every night we would just get really drunk and wish we had more food and chips and guacamole and stuff like that. So before I left, it's kind of like a parting gift for saying thank you for letting me stay at his place for a month is I, I got him like a huge tub of guacamole and just a bunch of chips and just kind of left those there for him. I thought that was a really nice gift. Um, and it, things like that, they don't cost anything. I mean, you know, $10 tops for that guacamole and chips, you know, and that's probably more meaningful than uh, a $200 pair of shoes or something like that than uh, that someone else had given him.